Hello and welcome to this new Hostify video. My name is Alex and today we're going to be looking at the Unify Protect Floodlight. So this device came out last year in May 2021. Uh, it's a very simple device. It basically has a PIR sensor uh, that allows the light to detect if something's walking underneath it and the light will come on. Uh, you can also pair it with a Unify Protect camera, so one at a time. And then it will use the Unify Protect camera in conjunction with the PIR sensor to turn on the floodlight for use um, to be able to see in the dark. You can actually pair more than one floodlight um, with one camera at a time. So imagine if you had a, a like a alleyway and you wanted to light up the whole alleyway, the camera at the front to, to see if someone walks in. And you could have two floodlights along the length of the alleyway and they could both come on once it sees someone walking. So <clears throat> in this video, we're going to have a look at the hardware of the Unify Protect floodlight, as well as look at one that is installed and have what, how, what it looks like at daytime and at nighttime. The floodlight is is on sale now on the official Ubiquiti store. So if you go to store.ui.com, then accessories, you can see that the floodlight is listed here for $99. It's also on sale in the UK for about £104 and the EU for about the same sort of price. Um, so the specs are, it has a IPX5 waterproof housing. It comes with two mounting options. So you can mount it going straight, straight out, um, just shining bright, uh, or you can have this angled mount, which is probably the most useful. So you mount the light a bit higher up, and then the motion sensor is sort of facing a bit bit better. The cable comes out the back of the as a hole at the back of the plastic mount, which we'll look at in a minute. And that allows you to sort of have a very flush, seamless uh, install. If you do mount it this way, uh, there is a a little channel a groove for the cable. Uh, so you can make everything sure it's watertight. Very early versions of this floodlight had a didn't have a groove, which is a bit a bit of a oversight. It's powered by standard PoE, so 82.3 AF uh, or 48 volt passive. Uh, it has a 10 by 100 interface. If you do see it powered up in your network and it's only 100 meg, don't worry, you haven't made a bad cable. Uh, it is just it doesn't have a gigabit NIC. So we're gonna have a now we're gonna we're now gonna have a look at the hardware of the Protect floodlight. So this is the Unify Protect Smart Floodlight. Got the device on the front of the box. Unify Protect on all the corners. Smart Floodlight. Some information on the back. So just open the box up. So this used to be called the Smart Floodlight. It is now just the Unify Protect Floodlight. This is this is a older box I've got from a few months ago. So for some reason, you've have renamed it since. So there's some nice uh, foam padding inside there to protect the like the plastic front of the device. So we've got the floodlight itself on the left, and then the one of them angled mounting brackets. So you can see there, there's a little um, level to get it level on the on the wall when you install it. So the floodlight is actually all metal. It's quite a nice quality feeling device. Uh, there's a channel there for the Ethernet port. And I've got the front filter. So the floodlight comes with two filters. It comes with a clear filter. And then there's a frosted filter, sort of like a diffuser. Sort of a bit uh, nicer to look at. I, the, two, the two or three I've installed, I've always used the diffuser one. Uh, it does make it a little bit less bright. Um, but if you want maximum brightness, the clear one. Uh, gives you a better brightness. A little sticker to say you can lock it into place by pushing down. So we're now going to have a look at what it looks like when it's installed. So I installed this one about a year ago. Um, there's some already some cobwebs on it, um, but this is a, a clear look at what it looks like. Um, just a little PIR sensor there. So I'll have a look what it looks like at night time as well. So the light's very bright at night time. Um, so this is on the brightest setting. There are multiple levels you can go to. So it turns on very quickly when the camera detects movement uh, or the little sensor detects movement. So they both work in conjunction which is quite nice. So yeah, it's uh, quite a nice addition to the Unify Protect family and I, I'm very happy with the, the ones I use now. So that's a look at the Unify Protect floodlight. You can find out more about the device at our blog post at hostify.com slash blog. A link to this will be in the description below. You can find out more about Hostify at hostify.com you can contact the team at support at hostify.com and you can follow us on Twitter at hostify underscore net.
Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.